Hello everyone, my name is Katrina. Thank you guys for joining me for CORE today. Before we begin, just know that this is being recorded and will be on the SNHU YouTube page. Before we begin, if you are here live, please put yourselves on mute, that way you can hear everything I'm saying. All right, let's get this started. We're gonna start off by laying down. We're just gonna take a couple of deep breaths here. I'm just gonna move my camera down just a touch more. Here we go. Move my dog out of the way. Step here, come here. Okay, let's lay down nice flat on our mats. I like to bring this to my stomach just to feel my breath so we can warm up that core, just get it engaged a little bit. Some deep cleansing breaths. So fill that belly up with air. Pull it all the way out. And inhale. Big exhale all the way out till it hurts. Let's do that one more time. Fill it all the way up. Let that rib cage expand. Lower abs expand. And exhale it all the way back out. Okay, let's bring our legs up to a tabletop position. So knees are stacked right over the hips. Make sure that your feet are in line with your knees and, and are level down. We're gonna bring those arms straight past the hips, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, start pumping the arms up and down vigorously. And we're gonna do the 100. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. And hug those knees right into the chest, rocking it out from side to side. We're just warming up that core a little bit here. And we're gonna bring our feet down, taking your left leg across the right. We're gonna take our hands behind the head. Now we don't wanna crank on our necks here. We want this to be nice and gentle. Push that knee away from the body. We're gonna take our right elbow all the way across to the left and all the way back down for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Open it back up. Let's switch legs. So right leg across left. Push that right knee out. Left elbow comes across for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down. All right, so now that those spines are a little bit warm, we're gonna get right into some bicycles here. So legs come back up to tabletop. Hands go back behind the head. We're gonna kick one leg to the high diagonal. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. We're coming through the center, over. So for 10, nine, eight, elbows wide, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and bring it down. Maybe bring those hands over the head for a quick breather. Ooh. Lay down, down, down. No, 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 no. All right, let's do those over again. So legs back up at tabletop, hands behind the head. Lifting the head, neck, and shoulders out to the high diagonal. We're going over for one, two, three, four, five. Lift those shoulder blades, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring. 
bring it down, another quick stretch here. Let's actually bring our feet straight up to the ceiling. Legs are flexed, our feet are flexed. Try and stretch those knees as much as we can to a straight position. Just giving those legs just a second to relax. And we're gonna take our right leg, huck it in as close as you can. Driving that left heel to the ceiling. We're gonna slowly lower to the floor without losing our core. So drive that belly button into the spine and lift it right back up. We're gonna do this 10 more times. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, lift it right back up. Let's switch legs. So hug that left leg in nice and tight now, flexing into that right foot. We're gonna slowly lower it down, driving our belly button into our spine for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, lift it right back up. Now let's point the toes. So pointing into both toes, try and get those legs as straight as you can. We're gonna split them like a scissor. Hugging that front, leg, that front leg in closer. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. So eyes go to the belly button. Let's pull, pull, switch. 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 And bring those legs down. Maybe you take a second with arms overhead. And then we're gonna do those again. So take a deep breath here. And bring those legs right back up. Toes are pointed, split up. Grab onto that closer leg, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Let's pull, pull, switch. 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 Pull, pull, switch, and hug those knees right into the chest. Maybe you rock out from side to side. Deep, slow breath. Okay, let's bring our legs back to tabletop position. Glue those thighs together. Arms are gonna go out into a T position. We're gonna drop our knees to the left. Now you don't need to go all the way down, just go until you start to feel that right hip lifting. We're gonna squeeze the core, come back over to the right. Squeeze and lift it up for nine. And over, keep those knees glued. Eight, these are windshield wipers. Seven, try not to use your legs. Six, squeeze that core. Five, four, three, two, one more here, and over and bring those legs down. Give yourselves a second. We're gonna do those again. Now on those, remember that you're trying to squeeze that core and those obliques. We're keeping our legs as still as possible and squeezing them together nice and tight. 
but also keeping them away from the body. So you want to have those nice 90 degree angles. We had to get through that first one to really know what that feels like. That's a good tough one. Let's bring those arms back out. We're doing them again. Windshield wipers back to our tabletop position. Glue those legs together. We're going left. Just barely lift that hip. Squeeze, go to the right, barely lift the hip and back. And this is three. Four. Squeeze that core. Five. Belly button to the spine. Six. Seven. Eight. You got this. Two more. Nine. And last one, and over, let's lift it up. Let's just take a quick full body stretch just to get the front body to open up a little bit. Deep breath in, exhale all the way. And slowly come on up, we're gonna go onto all fours. So your core is not just directly those front abs, it's your obliques, your back, your glutes. So we're gonna get a little bit of that more engaged here. So getting onto all fours, let's first start off by loosening up the spine a little bit. We just did a whole lot of front abs and side abs, so our spines are a little tight. We're gonna inhale, arch that back, look up, exhale, round it up, drive the shoulder blades to the ceiling. And inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, rounding it out. Inhale, arch that back, look up. Exhale, round it up, drive those shoulder blades up. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, rounding it out. Inhale, arch that back, last one. Exhale, pushing all that air out of the body and come down to a nice flat back. All right, we're gonna make sure that our hands are underneath the shoulders, slide the shoulder blades down the back. We're gonna take one foot back, take the opposite foot back, squeezing. Let's lift our right leg, point that toe back, pulse that leg up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg down, stay in that plank. We're gonna to switch to the left foot, point that toe, pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, slowly drop those knees, take a breather. All right, we're gonna go back up into the plank again, but we're gonna do it just a little bit different. So keeping those hands under the shoulders, slide the shoulder blades down the back, abs lifting up, pull from the crown of the head. One foot back, opposite foot back. Now let's bring our left foot up, right arm up. Squeeze and switch sides, right and left. Squeeze and switch sides. This is a tough one. Opposite and back. You can see me struggling? That's good, it's no joke. Let's do one more each side. And down. And slowly bring those knees down. So I felt it too. A little bit of that balance work, a little bit off-putting there, but we got through it. All right, we are not done. Let's bring those hands underneath the shoulders, slide the shoulder blades down the back. This time we're gonna take one foot back, take the opposite foot back, hike it up. Walk those hands all the way into your feet. Slowly roll that body up and bring the shoulders back. So we're gonna go for inchworms. We've got 10 inchworms here. So that means we're gonna walk all the way out to our plank with our hands, all the way back up, stand it back up just like we did. So at your own pace, we're going for 10 inchworms. Let's get them going. So walking all the way out for number one, hitting that plank. Walking it all the way back in. Now you can bend your knees if you need to. Stand it up and coming right back down. 
and walking it up. All the way back in and up. So this is a little bit of whole body because cardio works the abs too. But we're obviously hitting our planks. So we're definitely still squeezing through here. Working those hips by standing up in between. It's number four. Going back down for number five. We are halfway through. And lift it up and back down. Walk it all the way out. And all the way back up. And this is seven. Hit that plank all the way back in. Squeeze and stand tall. We've got one more to go. Walk it all the way out. All the way back in. Stand it up and let's take a quick breather. We're gonna do those three exercises again. So our planks and then our inchworms. Let's grab some sips of water if you need it. I'm feeling it, so you are not alone here. And let's bring it back down onto all fours. Take another second just to catch your breath. We're gonna bring those hands underneath the shoulders, slide the shoulder blades down the back, abs lifted and up. Pull from the crown of the head. We're gonna bring one foot back, bring the opposite foot back, point that right toe and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch feet, drop those hips. Squeeze that left leg and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Foot down, bring those knees down. And I'm sure you can hear my heavy breathing. Talking and doing abs, turns out not so easy. <laughs> we are all human here. We all have those struggles. All right, hands back underneath the shoulders. Slide those shoulder blades down the back. Take one foot back, opposite foot back. Lift, opposite arm and leg, squeeze. Opposite arm and leg, squeeze. Keep going and switch. Opposite arm and leg, back down. Two more each side. Keep hitting those planks. Hands go back under the shoulders. And let's bring those knees down. Take a breather. Catch yourself back up, and then we've got our 10 inchworms. Woo, I know I'm feeling it. Okay, hands underneath the shoulders. Slide the shoulder blades down the back. One foot up, opposite foot up. And we're gonna start right from here. So walk it all the way in, and stand it up. You know, we'll count that as number one. So go now for number two. Walk it all the way out. Hit that plank. All the way back in. And standing up. That's two. We got this. Big stretch. Take your time. Hit that plank. All the way back in. And all the way up. This is number five. We are already halfway there. This is eight. You can do this. Keep breathing. Last one here. Push through it. Hit all the way back up. And let's stand it all the way up. Catch that breath. Grab a sip of water. 
if we need it, we're going to meet sitting down on the mat. Ooh. All right, guys, so we are not done yet. Let's take ourselves so that we are seated on our mats. Nice deep breath. Okay, taking those hands behind the thighs. We want some power in that chest, rounding those elbows. We're gonna lift one foot up, lift the opposite foot up. Find some balance here. We're gonna slowly straighten out those arms, making a C with the belly. Scoop the abs up nice and tall. And round it up, scoop those abs, lift it right back tall. Two more, round it out. Use those abs to lift yourself right back up. One more time. Round it up, scoop and lift tall. One foot down, opposite foot down. Take a second if you need to shake those wrists out. Now we did a lot of planking, it's a lot of wrist work. Always take a second if you need to. Okay, hands go back behind the thighs. Power in that chest. Lift one foot, lift the opposite foot. We're actually gonna take our hands out to the side and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, scoop those abs. Three, two, one. Bring those feet down nice and slowly. Okay, we're not done with this position yet. So hands go back behind those thighs. We're gonna lift one foot, lift the opposite foot, bring those hands out, let's tap right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot, one more each side, and tap, and slowly bring those feet back down. All right, we're gonna try an extended position here. So hands are gonna go back behind those thighs. We're gonna lift one foot, lift the opposite foot, bring those toes to the high diagonal, scoop those abs, nice straight spine, let the hands come loose and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down, control it. Okay, now we're gonna go for something that's called rolling like a ball, and it's just how it sounds. So we're gonna rock back to the shoulder blades and all the way back up, getting a little back massage in here. So hands behind those thighs, power in the chest still. Lift one foot up, lift the opposite foot up, rock it back, sit tall, rock it back, sit tall, rock it back, sit tall. One more time, sit tall, one foot down, opposite foot down. Now to make that even more challenging, bring the feet together, knees apart. Hands go into prayer position, we're gonna dive them through our legs, scooping around, grabbing onto the ankles. Roll those shoulder blades back, pinch them together. We're gonna lift one foot, lift the opposite foot. So this takes a little bit more flexibility. If it's too much, go back to rolling like a ball. We're gonna clap, 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 rock it back. 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 And bring those feet down and legs come in. It's a good core workout, a good stretch, and just a little bit of fun. All right, let's go ahead and just find a nice seated position here. We're gonna reach up, take a nice deep inhale, drop that left hand, reaching over the crown of the head, scooping those abs in, opening up that side body. Deep breaths. Scooping through the center, let's drop that right arm, left arm reaches past the crown of the head, let the head fall. And reaching back up to the ceiling, we're gonna take our right hand to our left knee, left hand goes back, look over that shoulder. Breathing through your stomach, pulling up from the crown of the head. Oh, 
And then scoop those abs, lift. Exhale, rotate it all the way around. Left hand to the right knee, right arm goes back. Look over that shoulder if you can. Unrotate, take those hands all the way up to the front, push them out, drop that head down. Inhale, reach it to the ceiling, rotate those arms back as you exhale, lace the fingers behind your back, roll those shoulder blades down the back, lifting the eyes to the ceiling, nice long neck, let the arms go heavy. Let's just take two deep breaths here. So reach up to the ceiling. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Reach it up. Inhale. Exhale. Those arms fall. Let the day go. And you guys are all set to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your week, and hopefully I'll hop back on next week. Have a good one.